Well, good evening, or good afternoon. Um, I figured I'd do a second part of the last video I just did. Just to show that, uh, I am slowly getting rid of stuff. The pile of boxes that were sitting there are now gone. I cleared up that area over there. The gate will, my mom will take tomorrow. I'm also going to give her the DVDs. Since she don't have cable, she can have the DVDs to watch movies. Um, a few boxes over here, but not much. The end table is cleared off to get rid of. Except the laptop on top is my mom's. I have one at the bottom I might be giving away. Um, Knickknacks I already put up for anybody that wants them. I can come get them. That box. This box is the stuff that I started putting in there from the closet. And the little drawer over here, like odds and ends that I, I need, I'm going to take with me. Um, this box I still have to clear out. Which I'll probably throw most of it out. Same with a lot of stuff in that bin. All the stuff will actually probably fit in that bin so I can consolidate. Wireless printer will probably go to my mom. There's the AC that somebody wants to buy from me. Because they offered to buy after they were just coming to get some free stuff. So I'm going to sell that to them. Come next week. Um, I emailed about the RV. So to make sure that it actually was drivable and there was no frame broken. And I got a response that it does drive. The frame isn't broken. So that's a the two main concerns and for the most part but uh I got one little laundry basket and there are some odds and ends I gotta get rid of but other than that everything else is I mean I still got clutter on here but most of it's just clutter stuff I'm gonna throw like, some of the stuff came out of the drawer I emptied this drawer completely kept some of the stuff Poor Frosty the Snowman CD's gone. I don't know what happened to it. Um, some packing bags. Well, shipping bags. I ordered a long time ago. I'll probably just... I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'll see if somebody wants them because I have so many of them that there'd be a waste to throw them out. I think I had two pouches of them. I have uh, little bags, but not really. Watch your nose, buddy. Watch your nose. But yeah, I'm slowly... I actually got rid of all the... Some other stuff, too, that someone's going to come pick up. I do have a HEPA filter thing over there for the UV light in it, which I'll probably give it to my mom as well. But yeah, I'm trying to get rid of everything possible, so hopefully by next weekend that RV will still be there and it'll be decent enough shape to, to grab and I can go. The recliner will be in the garbage because that'll be, I'm throwing that out. Yeah, I don't know much else. I mean, well, I gotta get my mom her ladder back, but that's about it. All's in here is a ladder. The window goes to this apartment. <laughs> and my antenna for my ham radio. Um, I have a new vacuum cleaner. I'll probably take that. Because I just bought it not that long ago. Um, I might even see if my mom wants it, but she has a fairly decent one. Gotta clean that and table off. I had to clear out the drawer that it was full. It's only a couple things in there. That's pretty much it. I mean, everything's pretty much going pretty quickly. The person who wants to buy the air conditioner said they'd have money Tuesday for it, so that's cool. That'll get me through the weekend with it, and then uh, I'll sell it to them, and then come Friday when I get my money, plus the money from that and the money my brother owed me. Um, that'll help towards the RV. So I figured... I told him I'd sell him the air conditioner for 100 bucks at least. And uh, my brother will be the same amount, 100 bucks, so I'll have 200 bucks there. The RV is in de decent shape, and it's 950. Um, even if I can't chew them down, that only cost me basically 750 because I already got $200 from money I'll be getting by the end of the week on top of mine. So yeah, it won't really cost me that much. It'll be pretty much just be 750 for me. And then I'll get it on the road and start working on anything minor that needs to be worked on. I believe there's a leak. I think this this the uh, ad says something about um, somebody patched the roof of it with some rubber stuff, or but it still has a leak, or put a new roof in it, but it still has a, a leak somewhere. Um, I'll find without leak is if it is a major, it's just a little leak and it's not really rotted out and it's been kept from getting too damaged. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I can uh, I'll patch it up somehow or fix it. In the time being, I'll put a tarp over it, park somewhere, and put a tarp over it while I work on it. On top, just so it doesn't drip any or leak anymore. 
Um, I mean, the body was, it looked like it was pretty decent shape, even the inside by the pictures I saw. It looked like it was fairly decent, and it didn't look like there was any water damage anywhere in the pictures. So, uh, I'm hoping it's in fairly decent shape. When I emailed about it, he said it does drive, and uh, it drives straight. There's no shaking, no nothing. Um, it did put in the, the ad does say it needs a tune up, which I'm fine with. So I think it's a, like a 1978 RV, so, you know, I'm not too worried about it. As long as it runs and drives, it'll get me around, you know, in town, and at least locally. I'm not going to get too far out because I want to slowly work on it, but I need some place. I need one so I can get into it and uh, start putting money into that instead of into everything else. Um, get me through the winter months if I have to park somewhere. And then uh, I'll definitely be putting solar panels on top and all that. And I do have a brother that does a lot of works on uh, cars and he also does, you know, how, woodworking and stuff like that helps build houses and stuff like that. So I'll have him, I'm sure he'll help me out was doing some patching up and fixing it up a little bit to make sure it's going to be up livable so when I want to travel and it'll be um, it'll be safe enough to drive and it'll keep me out of the weather and drive down the road like it's supposed to um, I'll have him check it all out I actually might have him go with me go check it out since he knows how to check out all the frame because he works on vehicles or did you know, he knows how to do all that stuff, so he can check it all out and make sure it's going to be something that's worthwhile. Um, being does say it needs a tune-up, my brother can at least check it out to see what it might need. Uh, if it's just minor stuff. I mean, I can do it myself, most of the stuff, if I have to. YouTube's a good, my good friend, though. I use YouTube a lot for fixing stuff. I used to fix all my vehicles that way. Um, besides people helping me out, but most of the time I, when I want to find a problem, that's how I do it, or... If I want to change something out, I don't want to be bothered asking anybody. Because I don't like to ask people for help, so... That's how I normally do. I just look it up on eBay or on YouTube and try to see how it's done and watch videos, then I go ahead and do it myself. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to keep rambling on, but you want to let y'all know that this is looking good. I'm hoping that I, it'll still be there next week. There is another one that's also available for 1000 It's a little bit smaller. It's not the actual... The one I want to look at is 950. It's um, a Class C. The other one, I think, is a little older. I'm not really sure. I think that was a 1988, and it's $1,000, but it looks more like a, a van. It's a motorhome, but it's a it's one of those, like a, a van-type size. Instead of the box size, it actually looks like a van. So, the worst case scenario, it's one of the two I can look at, see about getting. So... And if not, I'll just keep looking, but at least I can be ready to go when the time comes, because I don't want to wait any longer. So until next time, take care, hit that subscribe button, like it up, and I will be back shortly, I hope.